We got Rodan. Mm -hmm. We got Mothra. Mm -hmm. We got Ghidorah. Yep. And we have the king, Godzilla. Oh, so much mayhem. So much chaos. So much destruction. Ma'am, 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 ma'am. This is the Wendy's. You're scaring me. Chill. Roll that back. Roll it back just a little bit. Poquito. Hey, guys. It's the Kaiju Duos. Why you got to say the S? Why it's duo? One, no S. Uh-huh. Duo. No, it's, okay, but it's mine. So it's duos. <sighs> and we are back for another Kaiju for Kaiju Month. Yeah, Kaiju, baby. Kaiju. And yes. Our cinematic destruction is Godzilla. Music cue now. This is Godzilla's world. We just live in it. Damn right. In 2014, we had a Godzilla flick that was very light on the Godzilla and very heavy on the very squishy humans and their very squishy humans problems. It was fine. It was de- I liked it. I actually, I enjoyed it do, a lot. Do you have to call the humans squishy? They're squishy. Have you seen what happens to the humans in this Godzilla flicks? They squish. Do they have they to be squishy? squishy? Squishy. They okay, squishy. Fine. Let them be squishy. So, in 2014, we had squishy human problems. Mm-hmm. And this one, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. So many kaiju. It was a lot. Oh my god, so much kaiju. Oh my god, kaiju battles out the wazoo. And we still kind of had some squishy human problems. Yeah. With their squishy, squishy problems. So it was like family, you know, worried about worried about stuff and and the environment. No, I wanted my I wanted my giant monsters, and I got my giant monsters. Yes. I got my giant monster battles. Mm-hmm. I got my oh my god, things exploding and getting destroyed and all that. That's what I wanted. And I got my people being trampled on and squished. Oh my! Uh, see, see, squishy. They squishy. I don't, said don't, okay. don't, don't, don't knock my squishiness. I didn't. I don't knock okay. my squishiness. Anyway, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, the sequel to the 2014 Godzilla with elements of uh, King Kong uh, Skull Island. I think it was. Yeah. Which I I have to lament that I haven't actually seen yet. So I, I have to go back and see it myself because I heard it was good. I heard it was good, and there there are little little itty bitty, uh, not Easter eggs because they're kind of out in the open, but yeah. like, like like they do they do make allusions to uh, that past film and what happened there, and I'm just like super duper 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 hyped for whatever comes next yeah. in this franchise because this movie got me pumped. It was very exciting. Very exciting, but of course we do have to talk about the squishy humans. So we, we got to talk about uh, the Russell family, uh, which I can't remember them actually being uh, too prominent in the first one because because yeah. all I remember was like uh, the the jarhead in his girl in San Francisco and uh, Ken Watanabe uh, going like let them fight. And he's in this one too, and I loved him. I love Ken Watanabe was perfect in oh, this yeah. one. I oh, yeah. enjoyed him way too much. Yeah. Uh just just because he was just like, Y'all don't understand the will of the gods, let alone the will of Godzilla. And I'm like, yes, they don't understand. Let them fight. Let them fight. But yeah, we follow the Russell family as they're split up after the events that happened in 2014. They lost their son. They uh got a divorce. And first of all, my I got a question for you, D. Uh-huh. When giant monsters level not one but two cities, two big ass cities mm-hmm. on the West Coast. Like how do you like 
pick up all your stuff, leave, and then go, you know what? Let me go down to the courthouse and file for a divorce. Like, like I'm, I'm not thinking about nothing else. Like, my whole idea of my own existence is just like stuck in the back of my head you can do whatever the hell you want it's like you just, like, we ain't getting a divorce because i ain't worried about filing no damn paperwork you ain't gonna okay. you ain't gonna serve me papers that giant freaking lizard just stepped on the the 72 bus i ain't worried about that shit okay but you have to put in consideration it was five years later i know i so know i'm pretty sure I in know. between that time things did happen life did progress i know but like that's still so, gonna be in the back I get of my what head you're saying yeah we see a monster <laughs> a monster is coming and what the hell are we gonna do and yeah because this, 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 this ain't like this ain't like jason Right, no. this this ain't like like the little kid in Brightburn just going around killing people. No, because like that that's different. You got a towering behemoth of scale and just like firing off blue lasers and shit. And if like a year later you're like, you know what, let's get a divorce, I'll be like, I don't care. Yeah. I don't care anymore. I, I'm 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 sitting here worrying about whether or not where my where my level of life is. Yes. In this world now, because that motherfucker just like tore down all the buildings. Yeah, I'm just saying. I, it's, it's it's that's just one of the weird things about this. Is like I know life goes on. I know life continues. But like throughout a lot of this movie, I'm just going like, how do you? They got newscasters. Yeah, they got newscasters during the crux of this movie, like right at the climax, where like all monsters are around and just destroying everything. And they got newscasters just like breaking the news to you. And I'm just like, how do you go into work on that day? I don't. Think how you do. do you go into work on that day? I don't think you do, unless this is your work. I mean, I get it, but at the same time, like I ain't built for that. I'm not built for that. I'm I'm finding a bunker and leaving. I don't give a shit. I don't, I don't give what, a shit. But where can you go? You have I monsters. will find. I will find a place. So the next question would be, where where are you gonna go? <laughs> I don't know. Because they literally could just step on like three states in. I, they ain't that one big, step. but they big. These motherfuckers are big. Anyway, back to the movie. I'm sorry. I just had to. I had to, yeah. had to go for it aside. Back to the movie. Um, we got Dr. Emma Russell played by uh, 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 Vera Farmiga. Uh, and she's trying to connect with the kaiju, working on this little secret project to connect with the kaiju and, and learn how to communicate with them and, and find out their their little little uh, biofrequency. I think that's what they call it, their yeah. biofrequency yeah. to, to allow them to communicate with to the communicate monsters yeah. and to either repel them, attract them, you know, send them else, elsewhere so that we can live in harmony. You know, like we, we got a 700 foot tall, you know, dog with an invisible fence around it. That's basically what she's trying to create a situation of. And um, we have uh, uh, Mark Russell, Kyle Chandler, who is her uh, uh, her ex-husband. And this, this whole situation kind of centers around these two people. Yeah. Um, and it's like the, the kaiju are the backdrop in a way between their relationship and, and what happens as the movie progresses. Uh, but they're a big backdrop because shit goes down. We got Ghidorah, yeah. we got Rodan, we got Mothra, we got a bunch of other monsters that I can't even come up with names on. Yeah. But on the plus side, we don't focus too much on their squishy human squishy problems. We focus a lot on the giant monsters being giant monsters doing giant monster things. I need you to calm I'm down. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I've been wanting a movie like this for a long time. Yes, and, I, yes, and yes, it was exciting. Yes, it was fun. Yes, it was. I, to be quite honest, did not pay attention to the actors. Yeah. Because I was too busy watching the boss fights that were going on. To its credit, though, to its credit, though, when, when we didn't have uh, the massive fights, and there are a lot of them, and it, it will leave you satisfied. It, this is a lot of destruction porn. I love it. Um, when we do get stuck with, and I'm going to keep calling this the squishy humans and their squishy human problems, mm -hmm. it's not boring. No, it's, it's, it's not. not boring. There's a, there's a bit of techno babble here and there, but... Uh, the actors are are engaging. Uh, yeah, they, I mean, they move the plot along 
Um, and I think they did that very nicely. Some parts were a little slow when it came to them. Just a little bit. And it was just kind of like, you know, we can speed this up a little bit or we can kind of take it out all together. Yeah, because like, it, it, like if, if, yeah. if this ended up just being Giant Monster Greatest Hits, it, it would have been fun, but it would have lacked that sort that sort of personal touch yeah. with it. But this movie did so well that like it makes you feel for monsters whose only line is a screech. Yeah. Like it makes you feel for them uh because you know it does real good it does a real good job of of characterizing Godzilla and various other monsters as you know you're good, you're evil, you know, you're just forces of nature, things like that. And it's a lot of suspense. It's just fun. It's just absolutely fun. It is. Um I gotta get because, gotta... like I said, the other actors, I and, I mean, and they tried so hard to make them relatable. Yeah, it's just I couldn't do it. It's like get get to the monsters, get to the monsters. Like, yeah, I like I, I like the story. This is fun. I love you guys, but get I to the monsters. The main characters. Yeah, yeah. Um, even the supporting actor, the supporting actors were uh, need need to give big old big old shout out. Oh yeah, like uh, like I said, everybody played their role. Everybody did a good job. It's just my relation to them wasn't there. It's just like okay, I know why you're here. Yeah, you're here because like I need I need humans right to connect and with. That, I get that. It's cool. That was it. Driving the story, I get it. Yeah. I get it. Just keep moving along, scurry along. There's a giant foot. Yeah, and people get messed up in this movie. Oh yeah, people get messed up in this movie. Like they get ate, they get fried, they get of course you know crushed. But like Jesus Christ, like Rodan like ends up just destroying a fleet of planes, and I'm just mm-hmm. like the whole time I'm not going like oh my god, will they get out of here? I'm just going yes, he f- freaking y'all up. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, uh, I I can't. There really wasn't too much that I didn't like about this movie, and I, I heard some some uh, uh, some critics or critiques about this going like, "Oh man, I wish it had more story. I wish it featured more yeah. humans." And I'm just like, "No, what? When you get into a movie that is called Godzilla, King of the Monsters, I'm sorry, but I don't give a damn about what the rest of them doing. I want to see Godzilla being the king of the monsters." Yeah. Is that not is that what I, is that not what you're looking for? Yeah, Godzilla being the king of the monsters. It's not Godzilla's uh, 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 therapy session. I don't give a fuck about that. I want I want I want buildings crumble and and and, and, and roaring and, and and nuke blasts. You got and, that? <laughs> sorry, sorry, I, I apologize. You're rambling. I'm, I'm, I'm going off. I'm going yes. off. I'm going off on a tangent. Maybe we should rate the movie. Oh, yes, let's, let's 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 get to it. Let's get into it. D, I'm gonna let you go. Okay. Tell me what you loved about this movie. Give me your rating. Oh, I loved about the movie, the monsters. <laughs> I mean, just done, done, and done. And because of that, I give it four stars. But Damn. with the people, I give it two. So we're gonna even out two, three. Sure. Solid three. Yeah. Solid three is good. Yeah. Solid three is good. Because the fights were like orgasmic. Oh my God. So I like, I like big things. I love me some big things. I love me big, stompy, roary, crashy things. I'm, I'm, I'm. Pause. A few reviews ago, you told me. I was getting very, you know, like a uh, sexual. That's not sexual. That I'm just is saying exactly I like big things. Did. I like big things. It's how anyway, you, said it. you were like, anyway. oh, I like big things. I love big things. I just love You're big tripping. things. You're tripping. You're no, tripping. That's, that's what you said. said. Anyway, okay, fine. I'll, I'll dial it back. How about, there that? You go. How about that? I like big things. I like incredibly big things. I like incredibly stompy, massive, crushy things and roary things and now you just things. want to be a jackass to unsexualize what yes, you're I trying am, to say. Because I don't, I don't How about want you to stop saying you I don't, like I don't, big things. I don't, I, don't, I don't want you to interrupt me. So this this movie does an, an amazing job. Just uh, real talk, it does an amazing job showing sense of scale in this. It makes it at the right moments. It makes you feel small. It makes them feel massive and it makes them feel like an absolute freaking threat. Like if you remember Godzilla and what was it? 1998, 1996. I can't remember that. Uh, that Godzilla with, with uh, Matthew Broderick. That's a lot of fish. That guy, Godzilla was big, but like it never felt like Godzilla 
mattered in a lot of this. It was just like a set piece. These felt like characters in the story on their own. And they felt huge and they felt dangerous. And it really conveyed a lot of that, that when one showed up, shit's about to go down and you will not survive. And that's what made it really feel fun because then even though we said like, I don't care about like, you know, little side characters not making it out alive. You still kind of sort of cared about no. like the main characters no. making it out because it's still kind of sort of their story, but it's not. It's like they're, it's like when you have a script and you have your main story, mm -hmm. the humans are the secondary parts. They're, yeah. the, they're that little secondary thread of a story where you're just like, oh, I kind of want to see the resolution, but at the same time, eh, don't really care. I, I, I don't need it. I just didn't I don't care. need it. I didn't care. You didn't care. I didn't. I didn't hate it. I didn't. I didn't hate. I mean, I didn't their hate. Interactions. It. I just didn't care. But because of all of that, because of the destructive chaos, because of the sense of scale, because of all of those things, and because I got what I didn't get in 2014, which is a lot of Godzilla, and they do a lot of great shots of the monsters. There's no. There's no shaky cam. There's no little bit of a monster that you see in the background. You get a lot of. A lot of view mm -hmm. from each and every monster that's on there. Because of that, I can't give it anything less than a four. This was not perfect, but this was so damn good. It gave me exactly what I needed. Yeah. And for that, I am in absolute awe. I want more. I want to know what's happening next. Mm -hmm. Because shit, the way it ended, it just like ended. Yeah. And I'm just like... I'm glad we didn't get any like extra extra re resolution. It was just yeah. like it just straight up went. Yeah, you know what? We're done. We're done. Yeah. See you next time. And I can't wait for next time. Yeah. So, you know what? I I, I will say this before we head out. Uh -huh. I will say this. I'm glad we live where we live because ain't no freaking big cities around here. I ain't gonna the the worst I'm gonna get. The worst I'm gonna get. Is if Godzilla said, you know what, I want to take a stroll from Texas to Wyoming and I'm just not going to watch my stuff. That's the only way we're going to get it. Every other major city, like New, New York, Los Angeles, all of them, they yeah. got fucked up. Yeah, they did. Memphis? No Godzilla is like, uh, uh, what am I going to do here? What about this is a great patch? Who the yeah. fuck cares? They stayed in Boston and LA. Stay, and... stay your asses over there. I'll sit yeah. here fine and free. Fly over states win when it comes to that shit. Kaiju out. Bye. <laughs>